Hello everyone and welcome to From the Heart Friday, session 157 with me, Jessica Brigden of Jess B, Creative Cardiology. Hello, welcome. I'm so glad you're here. It's Friday, which is great. It's the last day of September. I don't know where this month has gone. <laughs> it is full on fall sweater season. October 1st is tomorrow. Um, it's a big weekend in the stamping world because tomorrow is World Card Making Day, which is pretty exciting because it's just essentially a day set aside for crafters to do what they love most, and that is craft, make cards, scrapbook, all of that fun stuff. And so Stamp It Up is hosting a free event. It's a virtual event tomorrow. Um, I'll post the link here in the video description, but you can also um, access that right through the website stampinup.com. They have an advertisement for their event right on there. And if you click join event, all of the details are on there, including um, supply list, cutting instructions, and even um, step-by-step -step instructions for the projects if you want a little bit of a sneak peek there. Hi, Wendy, welcome. So today, to embrace fall, we are going to be using the Fall Leaf 3D Embossing Folder. Love this folder. It is hidden up there in your mini catalog at the top of page 53. It's kind of tucked in the back there. And I think it's just such a pretty, pretty folder. I'm going to show you three different ways to use it today. <laughs> hey, Gladie. Hello, hello. Hey, Doris. Hello. All right, I'm going to hi Janelle. All right, everybody's joining all at once. I was a few minutes late. My camera was in one room and then I just had things all over the place. My not only my craft room, but <laughs> my kitchen island where I've been doing a lot of um prepping. Looks like an explosion went off. Um so I think that's going to be one of my priorities tomorrow before the world card making day is I need to get myself cleaned up. <laughs> I need to organize everything, put things away. That's a big part of it. Hey, Marianne, welcome. All right, so you guys are just in time. If you have your fall leaf 3D embossing folder, go ahead and grab that out. Hey, mom. <laughs> and if you don't, make sure you write down. I'll put, again, the link in the video description. But um, it's at the top of page 53, right up there. Um, this is great. It's a $10 folder. It's one of those six by six. It's a larger one. So you will need to use your full size um, cotton emboss machine. But um, we're going to pull in all the fall colors today. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Okay, flip that around there. Okay, so I do still have my September host code showing. I'm going to be closing that out here this evening. So last day to order um, from the September code. Today is also the last day to access um, and purchase the Perfect Partners um, dies and bundles for the apple set, fresh cut stems, the playful piggies, trimming the tree, the waterfall canyon, and then the yetis. Okay, so the stamp sets are in the current catalogs, but the dies were a special just for the month of September along with the bundles. So if you need that, go ahead and get that today. Otherwise, you guys are going to be surprised, but I'm going to tell you, unless you're ordering the Perfect Partners dies, um, then wait until next Tuesday. I know this is crazy. Next Tuesday, October 4th, to place your order because next Tuesday is going to be a big day. Stamp It Up is releasing um, some new product. They've got a couple new specials. I'm not supposed to say anything because you guys are supposed to tune in to the World Card Making Day, but there might be some shipping special going on on Tuesday as well. So um, if you're watching this, hang tight. I'll tell you more tomorrow, but um, just start getting your order ready for October 4th, next Tuesday. Okay, so I'm just going to tease you in the meantime. All right, so the first thing... We are going to do, like I said, we are doing three ways to use this fall leaf embossing folder. The first one is way cool. So you definitely need something to protect your work surface for this one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna blow your mind with this technique. We are doing the direct ink to embossing folder technique. 
and you want to make sure you've got the front side where the Stampin' Up! Um, logo is. Okay, this is the front. We are going to be, and I'm going to then turn it around so that the crease is, is in front of me and that logo is facing down. You need three colors of ink pads. You could use less. Um, you could use more. But I'm going to use crushed curry, pumpkin pie, old olive, and then I'm going to do something cool with Cajun craze. So these are the four fall colors that I am playing with today. Hi, Pam. Hi, Trisha. Welcome, everybody. Thank you, Pam, for sharing. Yes, appreciate that. Okay, so four fall colors today. I'm using the direct um, ink to embossing folder technique. And like I said, make sure you've got something to protect your work service. So we're going to start with the crushed curry, our lightest color. And you could use ink spots if you have those, if you've been collecting those from the uh, kits collection and your paper pumpkin kits. Um, those would work really nice as well. But I'm using the full size pads. We're going to put a foam side right up to the crease and we are going to pull right down that embossing folder. Ooh, way cool. Okay. Then we're gonna come in with our next color, the pumpkin pie here. And we're gonna overlap a little bit with this crushed curry and we're gonna come down the middle. Oh, so cool. Okay, and then the next one, our old olive here. Okay, right down the edge. Again, overlap a little bit. Make sure your ink pad is, is good and inked. You could add a little, little more there. Okay, so you could, you could spritz this. Um, you could just go as is. We are going to then put our, I'm going to use very vanilla today um, because it's, it's just a little bit warmer tone for our fall cards. Basic white will work just as well. I have cut this layer to three and three quarter by five because I'm going to um, mount it on a contrasting piece and then um, put it on my card base. So three and three quarter by five. I've then placed it there in my embossing folder. Oh, give it a little squeeze. Check it out when you close it there. So we have all three colors. We've got the green, the pumpkin, the crushed curry. I'm really, I had a spritzer here somewhere and I think I left it in my other, I left it in the other table where I was working. Okay, so what we're gonna do is then bring our full size machine in. Okay, so with this, because it's a 3D folder, you're just using your base, number one, no tabs here, just the number one. Okay, put your embossing folder in with your crease towards the machine. And then you need your gray specialty plate number four. We are going to crank this through. Okay, pull that out. All right, I think I should have spritzed it because it looked a little bit better. Well, this is kind of cool. All right. But I'm going to grab my spritzer too so I can show you. But check that out. All right, while you're admiring that, I'm going to grab my spritzer. Okay, grab my spritzer and a paper towel. Both important things okay so that looks pretty cool but let's do it one more time this time we're gonna spritz it so actually you get to see four different ways to do this today <laughs> so that being number one okay again bring our folder in here i'm gonna wipe this off just so that when i run my crushed curry ink pad on here i don't transfer some of that darker colored ink. Okay, so again, we're gonna come in with our crushed curry. Boom. Then our pumpkin pie. Right down the middle here. 
Okay, then our old olive. Alright, so this time, alright, like I said, keep your work surface kind of protected there. This time we're going to use a spritzer, or just, you know, you just something to spray a little, whoop, <laughs> water on here again. Like I said, protect your surface because when you're spritzing, it can get a little wild. <laughs> alright, again, bring your cardstock in, your three and three quarter by five piece. Okay, pop that. Oh, right in the middle. Well, we're going to leave it where it is because I don't want to smear anything. Okay, squeeze it tight. Flip it over. Again, bring in your machine, your folder. Okay, we're going to run this through. Sorry for the shaky camera as I crank that. Okay, and then... Voila! Oh yeah, this one looks, so this was the first one I did without spritzing, which looks cool, but um, oh, check this out. All right, so definitely need your paper towel here, and uh, your hands might get a little inky, but again, Stampin' Up's ink is, um, the ones we're working with are just the classic, the water-based inks, and so um, you'll be all right. So just dab, if you've got little puddles of ink there, just dab that up just a little bit, okay, just to speed up the drying. Okay, and then we are going to take this paper towel and go ahead and just clean your clean your embossing folder a little bit. Um, to really clean it, you would just run this under your sink um, with some with some tap water, and then just wipe it off with a with a clean cloth. Okay, but for right now, because we're going to keep using the folder, I'm just drawing it out on the inside there. And now look at that. We've got some pretty fall colors <laughs> all over everything. So this is without, without spritzing. This is with spritzing. So I think I do prefer with spritzing so that you don't get the line um, in the ink bu bubbles. It's much smoother. All right, that looks cool enough, but check this out. When we come in with our Cajun Craze ink pad. Hi, Kristen. Hi, Vicki. Welcome. We are doing some direct to embossing folder. We're inking the embossing folder and then running our paper through and getting this really cool transfer of ink onto our paper. We're using the fall leaf, or I don't know why in the catalog it's called leaf fall. I think that's weird. I don't know why people say fall leaves, not leaf fall, but whatever. That's what they've named it. And so that's what we're going with. All right. And then I'm taking the Cajun craze. We are going to use one of our little finger daubers here. Hello. And then ink this up a little bit. Isn't that really cool? And then we are going to just gently, so what I mean gently, I mean like if you, uh, you're going to get a circle, okay? So we want to just gently, oh, oh, look at what it's doing. Do you guys see that? So we're just gently rubbing across and this Cajun craze is sticking to the raised leaves that we just embossed. Oh my goodness, so cool. So again, we're just rubbing this lightly over that embra embossed, embraced, I don't know what I'm talking about. Embossed leaves here. All right, makes them stand out a little bit. You can actually add just a little bit more. That's kind of a cool, give it a little bit of a like a little wood grain look there. Okay, so if you want it darker, you can go over it a little bit more. I'm just gonna kind of rub that through just to um, kind of keep that look going. All right, isn't that the neatest thing? Hey Liz, how are you? I am playing with ink today. All right, so I think that's really cool. So we took it from 
just inking the embossing folder and running it through. You do get some nice definition on the leaves there, which is cool. But then we stepped it up, we spritzed the ink, and now we've taken a sponge dauber with a darker, with Cajun Craze ink over the top. So not only do we get that blend of colors, but the Cajun Craze highlights those embossed leaves, which is really cool. Okay, so to highlight that, we are going to then mount this design on a layer of Cajun Craze cardstock. So this is four by five and a quarter. And then we are going to use crumb cake for our card base, just a nice neutral to pull everything all together. And that, that really, it dried quickly, okay? So you can rub your hand over it and it's, you're good to go. So you don't have to like heat set that or anything. It'll be okay. So um, you notice if you watch back, um, just a couple little spritzes. I mean, you do not need to saturate your paper your, or your um, embossing folder. You're just moistening it so that the ink blends together and transfers better to the paper. Okay, so again, half sheet of crumb cake. That was four and a half, four and a quarter by five and a half is our... Um, folded here. All right. I think that looks pretty cool. So now we just need a little something, something there. So to keep things clean and simple, I'm going to bring in my double oval punch. Love that punch. Okay. So we just need, we need a punch of some I'm going to do Cajun Craze for the scalloped oval and then bring in, got some scraps of very vanilla here that I'm going to insert in the punch for our regular oval. I'm going to go ahead and do that a couple times because um, we're going to need a couple of these for the next, next couple cards. Okay, so let's go ahead and pick a sentiment here. I wanted a fall set. I think I left the one I wanted. Again, on the counter, we're going to use the uh, seedling. Okay, the soft, soft seedlings has some nice little sentiments here. So let's go ahead, let's use So Grateful. It looks like it will fit perfectly on our little die cut. And we'll use the Cajun Craze ink pad for this. Hi, Kim. Thank you, Pam. I'm glad you like it. It's such a fun technique just to um, grab a couple of ink pads and then rub them on the embossing folders. That's really cool. And it's really not that messy. As long as you've got a paper towel there to um, wipe things up, then um, that's really cool. Hi, Kathleen. All right, so we're gonna pop this up with a couple of, excuse me, with dimensionals. And all right, here we go. Oh, starting a new sheet, flop. Okay, there we go. And I think, I mean, that looks cute. I want to add just a little something extra to it. So I'm going to bring in my old olive and Sahara sand ribbon pack here. I think, let's just go simple. We'll go with the um, Sahara sand. And we'll cut that just a little bit longer angle the ends there just a little bit and you know what? I'm gonna just go flop put a little adhesive right there in the lower right corner to stick my just helps my ribbon stay put while I am finishing my sentiment label here there we go super cute oh I love it hi Polly yes isn't that awesome so super fun fall technique there and you could i'm using the um 
the fall leaf embossing folder you could do this with the um with like the wood grain any of the embossing folders really it would look pretty cool Ooh, it is rainy polly in north central or in central north carolina well i'm glad that you are inland hope all is safe my heart goes out to everyone in florida and off the east coast uh, my husband's well, of course, he's a hobby weatherman anyways, but he's been um, glued to the news, um, keeping track of what's going on because we have a, um, uh, an apartment condo in South Carolina in Myrtle Beach. And um, he's been texting me updates like every 30 minutes. <laughs> um, and as of like 2.30, just before I went live here, the water at the... Um, at the, the location where our condo is, the building where we're at, the water level was all the way up. There's no beach anymore. It was all the way up the beach to the pool pool deck. Um, and of course, we still have several hours of storm before this is over. So hopefully there won't be too much damage to the, like the pools and the, you know, and the main level areas. Our unit is up on the 15th floor. So um, we're not worried. I mean, our place will be just fine. But um they might have to do a lot of cleaning out of the pools and the pool deck areas. Anyways, I love this card. That is really cool. So there's kind of one, one way, two way to use it. Okay, third way here. We are going to use, um, we're not going to color it, pre-color it this time. We're just going to use our very vanilla with our embossing folder. Excuse me. I'm going to always flip it over. So you've got your Stampin' Up! label there. Hi, Beth. And then you can bring this in and use that line that goes across the front to um, square up your paper. So you can do this vertical. You can do it, um, you know, like portrait, or you can come in here and do horizontal or landscape. Um, let's, I'm going to do landscape again on this one. All right, so with this, because it's a 3D folder, you just need your base number one and then gray plate number four. Okay, so we're gonna run just the very vanilla through the machine without inking it yet. Okay. All right, again, sorry for the wobble as I use the machine here. I'm using my full size machine because this is a um, the six six by six folder. Okay, so we've got very vanilla, super pretty. Now bring in your scrap again, and we're going to follow up similar to what we did over the um, ink here with the Cajun craze. But this time, grab yourself a, a few more daubers. Okay, so let's do some old olive. Let's see what color is that. Um, so we have Cajun craze. We've got old olive. Let's see what else do I have in here. I've got a little bin with some of them. All right, maybe we'll do like a little um, lighter. I'm gonna keep the same same colors here. Okay, and so we are going. So then just, let's see. All right, I'm gonna kind of rub some of the ink off of that and come in here with some yellow. And this time I'm gonna do, just apply it to certain leaves. Okay, just kind of here and there. All right, so we've got a little bit of crushed curry. Then we'll come in with some pumpkin pie. Okay, so this is kind of good if you don't want like all over. Oh boy, my pumpkin pie ink pad is really juicy. Okay, and then we'll do some old olive. Okay, so you're just applying ink gently with a dauber to the uh, 
the um, the rays, the embossed leaves here. Oops. That's why you got to put it on your finger because otherwise they jump around. Okay, so let's come in. I need a little more on this one. You can add, there we go. Make it as light or dark as you want. Kind of blend it around there. So it's a very similar technique, but this time we're just, we're not inking the entire piece of paper. We're just going over the leaves, okay? Which is kind of cool. And then you can take that. Uh, let's mount that on. I feel like we need some, some pumpkin pie. Let me see. Here's my trimmer. Okay, so I just need to cut a layer of pumpkin pie. We're gonna cut this down to four inches by five and a quarter. And we'll do pumpkin and old olive. How about that? Okay, so. And this on here. So a couple different takes here on this embossing technique. All right, we'll come in with our old olive card base. And you know, if you want to change it up, dress it up just a little bit, we've got our old olive and Sahara Sand Combo Pack here. That's kind of nice, you get both colors. You get the spool of the Sahara Sand and the crumb cake. Let's just cut a length of old olive here. And then we'll tape the ends to the back here before we glue this down. All right, so just maybe a half inch from the end there. Okay, there we go, just stick that behind. And then put this on, make sure your card opens. There we go. <laughs> okay, take just a little bit extra to tie, tie a little knot. We're not gonna do anything fancy with the bows, all right? This is like casual autumn here, no, no fuss. And um, keeping, things, keeping things natural. All right, actually, that's really cute. Now, let's grab a scrap of old olive and use our double oval punch. Again, super essential punch because you get two in one. You get your scalloped and your solid, which is perfect for all these fun projects. Okay, let's choose. We used So Grateful. How about we use uh, For You? on here all right we'll do this in old olive this time to keep with our color scheme all right but don't go anywhere because the next card oh, we're gonna bring in the metallic paper and oh my goodness that stuff is gorgeous okay so keeping this super simple Come on here. All right, a couple of dimensionals again on the back here. Voila, there we go. All right, if that's looking a little too simple for you, pull in your uh, rustic metallic, your metallic um, embellishments here. And we can add, add just a couple. All right, somewhere I had some scissors, don't know where they went. And let's just put one, we can put that like right on here. There we go, it kinda ties it. Actually, let's do one of each. There we go, we'll do each side of our 
oval. Okay. And then we'll be like, we stamped our sentiment crooked on purpose. And um, I kind of like it just like that. <laughs> Less is more. Keep it, keep it simple. Okay. So there's two ways to use it. All right. The third way, we're not using any fancy ink, but we are going to pull in our metallic foil papers. All right, let me just pull those up so you can see them both on the edge. Okay, so this time I'm going to bring in some copper foil. And if you're looking for that, you're going to be um, under specialty papers. Okay, so the metallic foils and actually Stampin' Up! sells these. You get your gold, um, kind of like your gold, your copper, bronze, whatever, um, an assorted pack. Um, which is pretty cool. So I have cut this down instead of our our vanilla. All right, we're using the foil paper. So three and three quarter by five. Again, let's put this in the embossing folder. Let's do this portrait this time. All right, so I'm going to do it vertically. Again, lining it up on that line on the front. Um, I kind of like the blank. Sorry about that, guys. My phone did an update, and when I tried to put um everything on do not disturb <laughs> they did away with my do not disturb option <laughs> and um that was my insurance company calling <laughs> so <laughs> so hopefully she won't call back too soon and um <laughs> and the video won't be interrupted hopefully okay so again we've got the copper foil in our leaf embossing folder again just your base number one Specialty plate number four. Crank this through. Oh, we're gonna wiggle there for a minute on the camera. Sorry about that. Okay. Ah, but when you use any of the foils, all right, so any of the gold foils work amazing um, for these fall leaves. And if you wanna try the same technique with um, like the snowflake embossing folders, the winter folders, using the silver tones. Oh my goodness, again, equally as awesome. Check that out. Look at that. I mean, you've got the gloss, you've definitely got the definition of the embossing. Oh, it's so cool. And because that is just so beautiful, we are going to keep it super simple. I'm gonna mount this on a four by five and a quarter piece of early espresso. Um, I went a little darker on the espresso there because I wanted to have have that contrast with our foil. All right, and then I want to pop a color. So I'm going to come back in with the Old Olive. Old Olive is probably the most versatile green in the Stampin' Up! collection um, because it goes with everything. It can be... A, it could be a neutral, it can be a like an earth tone. Um, so it's actually in the Regals collection right now. It was a bright at one point, but it really, it belongs everywhere. Okay, so just a half sheet of old olive. Oh my goodness, isn't that really cool? Uh, Wendy says, yes, the stitched leaves pl embossing plate on metallic paper looks really cool too. Oh, I agree. But I just, I love the dash finishing that we got of those embossed leaves. So, so cool. Again, we'll just come in with, um, let's go with the green here. Could go with the brown. Should we do brown? Change things up just a little bit. We'll do um, a scallop circle in the early espresso. Okay, let me grab my early espresso ink pad here. We'll put a couple of dimensionals on the back of this. I need to change up and get a new nail color and go more fall here. <laughs> okay, so let's again, we'll pick a sentiment from our soft seedlings set. Hello, that's one we haven't used. We've used so grateful for you. We'll use hello this time. Reminds me of an Adele song, hello. So, we've got 
And I love this font too because it's a cursive script, but it's kind of a like a little scribbly, so it's okay if it's not um, totally straight because it just looks like you meant it to be that way. Okay. There we go. And all right, I just had those um, metallic. There we go. Rustic, rustic metallic dots here. Let's do one more. Or, yeah, let's do that. Um, or we could do just a little bit of... Here we go. We could do just a little bow with our linen thread. Let's do that. And then we can... So I'm just going to tie a little bow here with my thread, all the ends. I know it looks a little weird to start with, but that's okay. We can adjust it here. Come on here. I want that one to be just a little curvier. All right. Put the knot on the dot. Okay, we'll put this, oops, right here, put the knot on the dot. Okay, then we can, oops, I've still got the metallic dot there. Trim that up. Okay, and then if you want, let's see, we'll just place that right in the middle. There you go. So we got like a two for one. Okay. Isn't that cute? So what do you guys think? So we actually learned four different inking techniques. This was kind of our, our trial, our sample one. And um, all right. Hi, Sophie. Hi, Mary Beth. Welcome. Mary Beth, are you guys safe? Did you leave Florida? Or are you inland somewhere? I, am, I checked with my Aunt Kay. She's in the um, I believe the Plant City area. And as of yesterday, um, she said she was fine. They hadn't even lost, lost power, um, which is good. Um, because, of course, all of the, uh, the news footage we see um, coming out of Florida is absolutely horrendous. Um, so I hope everybody is okay. Oh, my goodness. All right, so Mary Beth, you'll have to leave me a comment. Let me know if you guys are doing all right. Okay, uh, you stayed all as well. So I'm assuming that means you have power because your phone is working and <laughs> and charged and everything. All right, good to hear from you. We have been worried. All right, so we had, all right, trial run, just inking the embossing folder, um, no spritzing. All right, first project. Again, we inked the embossing folder. We spritzed it with a little bit of water this time, okay, to help the colors blend. And then we used a sponge dauber to apply Cajun Craze ink over the embossed leaf. So we kind of did a two technique on that one. And the second one here, we just used, we used our little finger daubers. Do, do, do. All right, and used different colors on the embossed leaves. Added a little touch of ribbon. And then we went super classic with our foils um, and just embossed the piece of foil. And it's stunning. So there you go. I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. Uh, again, this was the fall leaf or leaf fall embossing folder from page 53 of the mini catalog. Absolutely love this folder. Um, the catalog does not do it justice because it's hidden in there. Um, so I hope you'll add that to your shopping list. Um, and again, um, big specials coming on October 4th. That's next Tuesday. So hang tight. I will have a new um, host code for October there. Um, the only thing is, if you want your perfect partner's dies or bundles before those are gone, these are only available through 
uh, tonight. Okay, this special ends today, September 30th. And um, yeah, otherwise, make sure you are registered for Stampin' Up's World Card Making Day event. And um, yes, the instructions are available on the event site already. I have the um, supply list and the cutting directions up on my um, Facebook page here as well. Kind of shared that everywhere. So hope you guys will stamp along and enjoy a world card making day tomorrow. All right. Thank you all so, so much. Glad you have enjoyed the projects. Don't forgive me, forget to give me a thumbs up, like, and if you're watching the replay on YouTube, be sure to subscribe as well. <laughs> all right. Thank you all so much. Stay safe and we will see you next Tuesday. Alrighty. Take care. Bye-bye.